So here is the complete swag, belt swag and stack dribble and I've added the red pocket and I've already showed you how to do that so um, you just measure the width of the jibble when you're finished and just cut your red pocket depending on the size of your rod so see you in the next video tomorrow I will add it to this and to show you how you can use one simple um, window treatment and turn it into a very dramatic one okay so remember to like share and subscribe and this is Sharon from everything beautiful so here we are again good afternoon I am sorry I didn't really end the first video so this is a continu continuation this is part two of the video and I'm actually doing the stock jibbles now what I have done is cut two pieces of fabric similar to the jabot that I did um, on the first video with a jabot um, except uh, it has a right and a left okay so let me show you what it's looking like it has a right and a left so that's what it's looking like let me remove this piece okay so you have a long side and you have a short side and to be honest with you i am going to this that i'm doing is a miniature i have no use for it okay so it's a miniature it does make sense i'm working with a lot of fabric and always tell my students practice and miniature don't waste fabric but i want to tell you that shortly uh, maybe sometime this week i'm going to be giving you some measurements to do this exact um window treatment for the swag that I did in part one here today um, that is going with this you will require one 45 inches of um, a yard of 45 inches material meaning that each side will be um, 45 inches okay so it is actually a square so that is 45 inches of fabric you need on all side okay so if you go purchase and the material is 45 inches you buy a yard and a quarter or a yard and a third and you take off your 45 inches the width is already 45 inches and if you purchase a 60 inches fabric with the width is 60 inches you also measure down um 36 and 9 would give you 45 and to the side you take but whatever you do ensure that you have 47 um 45 i'm sorry inches on all sides and that is a square and that will give you one of the swag if you want three of the swag you use the same so you say one so i need to buy three times 45 okay meaning that would be one um, yard and nine inch would be, nine inches would be for one so you need to be by purchase um, three 45 inches worth of fabric and that would take it to three five fifteen three four twelve and one thirteen so that I think is a hundred and thirty five and to know the precise measurement that you would need um or the amount of fabric that you would need you would now divide that 135 by 36 inches and that will give you in yardage if you wherever you are if you're using um feet and inches okay so that's how you would um if you're doing full size um full size swags okay and for the uh, for this for the jabot um, it varies um, you can use also the 45 inches or a little bit longer um, but I will give you some more information on that so what I've done here I have cut two facing and you don't have to use facing all the time there's one that you can do with just the decorative fabric so this is called a lining or the facing and this the top fabric at all time is called a decorator fabric okay so I've cut two pieces of the decorator fabric and two pieces of the facing um, and remember now when you're cutting please put two right together in this, um, I mean that always put 
right face here and for the other side right also here or else you're going to end up with two left or two right okay and you place them on each other and cut them so i have four pieces here and uh, i have stitched the three sides the long side here the bottom here and the short side and um i have turn it over give it little slits to free it up i told you about the slits already and so turn it over and i press it okay so what i'll be doing now i will actually be forming my pleats so i'm going to try and form my pleats and remember in this case your iron is your best friend okay so i'm actually forming my pleats here and it's a stack job oh, maybe not a full stack but it is stacked because it's on top of each other somehow okay and you can always play around this to your own desire do what you need and you don't have to be that stiff or rigid to say i have to follow everything in the book okay so here it is i'm actually stuck stacking putting it on each other so here and this is what it looks like all right let me turn it in the other direction to let you get a better look so here it is i have one for the left and one for the right and the swag will be going in the middle so i have showed you how to pleat this and you can decide the size of the pleats that you want you can also play around with this okay so if the fabric is say 40 inches or 30 inches you want to give yourself another maybe 30 inches um, to work with or you want to do your pleats remember if you're doing four inches pleat you're going to need 12 inches for each pleat okay so you see where we're going if you're doing six inches pleat you're going to need a little bit more and you know i'm going to show you how to work those out so let me go um add the rug pocket to this hang it and let you have a look okay and i've showed you already i said how to pleat this okay in the first video that i did with your bow okay except that this is not a full one if you take this side and put it to this side it would look like the orange one but these are two separate pieces that will be going to the end all right 